Hey, any fish? It's the 15th of March, the Ides of March. And this is very, very interesting. I look at the news this morning and I see this morning still there's, it, they're claiming that the election there in Pennsylvania is too close to call. Remember the one I showed yesterday, you know, with the 49%, the 49%, all that stuff, right? Well, this guy here, Lamb, that's his name, Lamb, Connor Lamb. But anyway, this guy, it's, this is just weird. It's too close to call now. I didn't realize Mr. Lamb was 33 years old. And they go through a whole bunch of numbers on here, but I never did look at the actual numbers of the vote. You know, how many votes? So I did. And this is from yesterday, but still, I mean, look at this. 113,000. 113,000. 1,300. 49, 49. Look at this. 593 precincts. 17. 177. Look at it. It was even posted at 728. 17. So I wanted to show you that stuff. But the main reason I wanted to show it to you is because I saw this this morning, right? Mr. Lamb. I mean, this is just crazy. In March, you know, I saw another article. Uh, you heard the saying, March can come in like a lamb and go out like a lion, so on and so forth. Referring to the weather, usually. Well, it came in like a lamb here, and it's acting like a lion now. We got another snowstorm coming. It's absolutely insane. But anyway, so, you know, I'm kind of praying on it. Like, is, you know, do you want me to show this to people? Because, you know, I don't want to show just fruitless ridiculousness. You know what I mean? But I, but I know I'm being shown these 13s, 11s, and 17s just because I know it. And what they represent to me in a nutshell is just the shortness of time. Very, very short period of time until this world is going to experience something like never before. And so I pull up another random Bible verse. I mean, that's what I do a lot of the time. And I'll tell you what, for whatever reason, First John has been coming up a lot with me. This, this particular verse, chapter and verse hasn't come up, but I've had two other instances recently of First John. And so I've read it a lot lately, and I think it's so pertinent for all brothers and sisters to be to do a refresher on First John. That's just my opinion, okay? There's so much in there. But anyway, it brings up First John 3. I mean, are you serious? 10 through 11. Unbelievable. In this, the children of God are manifest. We need to we need to look at it in context, okay? I have it up here somewhere. Let's see. This is First John. Let's go to First John three. Okay. So we'll start like okay. Whosoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for his seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he's born of God. In this, the children of God are manifest. It's got to be activated. you got to seek it and receive that Holy Spirit. And the children of the devil. Okay, you see what, see what that's saying? You cannot say, in this, the children of God are manifest. And the children of the devil. The seed. Okay, you got to understand that. It's not critical to your salvation. But it is pretty important stuff. Whosoever doth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. It's bottom line. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and he slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. Marvel not, my brethren. If the world hate you, marvel not, because the world will hate you, because you don't belong here. You're not of this world, okay? So, time is short. That's, once again, just the message. 
So, you know, I want to share it with you, you know. So uh, there you have it. You all have a awesome day. Peace and grace to you all. Benny Fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 